So should a disaster happen in a Pacific Island, like a tsunami or a cyclone, NZDF uh, will go in there to assist. Our job is to provide the communications infrastructure required to conduct those operations. We'll be taking in services like internet or our military networks. We'll be taking in a lot of radio equipment so we can talk to all the aircraft from helicopters right through to our maritime patrol aircraft. If a disaster did happen in the Pacific, it's really important that we know how to operate. Operating in a tropical environment is much different to operating in New Zealand. There's a lot of different challenges, um, everything from getting our equipment over there to just operating in hot, humid conditions. The high mountainous regions of Samoa provide additional challenges for our radio detachments, trying to get that radio signal across over an island and back down the other side. So here at Arsal, we're mostly concentrating on communications within Samoa and what we hope to achieve is to test and evaluate different antennas to see how suitable they are for operating in the tropical environments. In Faleolo, they are concerned more with the rear link back to New Zealand, so they're doing more long-range antenna. And in the National Park Group, they're doing work with the field expedient antenna. So we're just putting up antennas made out of just a piece of wire really, using the resources that we have around us, using trees instead of masts, plastic bottles instead of insulators, things like that. We've communicated back to the Faliolo International Airport and a team on the other island, and we've also successfully tested communications back to New Zealand. Foxtrot Alpha, Tango Foxtrot Alpha, have you good readable? The whole point of doing field expedient antennas is so potentially maybe there would be like an air crash and we can rip the wires out of an aircraft and get communications to hopefully ensure our rescue and survival. It took a little while for us to get comms back to New Zealand. We tried a couple of antennas and then yeah when we finally got it it's a really really good feeling just to know that you can talk up to you know almost 3,000 kilometres away just on a piece of wire. It, it's really rewarding and it's taught us a lot. <laughs>